look really cute. Oh, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Okay, feet on A, chest feet on B. All good. Great, we're at speed. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, Sasha, so we've all heard how Andrea discovered you, which is an amazing story in itself. But um, yeah. for you, what's it been like on a personal level to then go from you know that moment to then get catapulted into this whole? It's been really, really um, uh, emotional and like overwhelming, um, because like just like her from start to finish, it's like this change of like not really having a lot of hope, not really knowing anything outside of what you have grown up in, and then finally feeling like, wow, like, you know, I can take on a different life and I have opportunities and also like the connections I've made with everyone involved with it. It's been like truly, truly, really amazing. It's, oof, it's like hitting my heart again. It's surreal. Yeah. So, so you've got that real affinity of Star, haven't you? You know, she's looking for independence and I guess you're similar age and it's to go, so yeah. that stru um, struck a real chord with you when you were... Yeah, like, I was craving freedom and was like trying to like get out of like this box and then now I'm like <laughs> so like wow open. What's it like for you at this point when the film's coming out because you've obviously you know you did it what, two years ago now you filmed uh, about like a year years. and a half yeah yeah um are you nervous you feel excited now you've started seeing it at the ah uh, both um I think nervous just because naturally I understand that way, mm. but it's like exciting because there has been so much love, you know, and it's cool to see the different uh, variations of people who are connecting to it and how they're responding to it. And I love like talking to them on the street and them just being like, ah, oh, and you're just like, ah, oh, cool. Mm. Like, yeah, it's been really, really cool. And um, also, it looks so much fun, doesn't it? And I think for a first film, it's probably what you want and the way it was filmed, minimalistic and. Um, fun, but we put a lot of work into that, and it was very, very exhausting, and there was a lot to, you know, to have everyone involved in all of that, like, it was a lot, a lot of work, um, but it was fun, it's, I mean, we, it was cool, it was free, you know, and just like, and freedom comes with a lot of different variations, but yeah, I mean, it was fun, but... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of backside. <laughs> and to work with people as well that had been, you know, found by Angela, is that quite nice to have Yeah, that yeah, yeah, definitely. Back up with them. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everyone's mentioned, but obviously there is quite a few sex scenes, or a couple of sex scenes which are really realistic. Um, did you know what was required of you when you went into it? Did she have that conversation with you and say? I think she mentioned that there were some sex scenes, yeah. Because so I guess when you're in it, you're in a bit of a bubble filming, aren't you? But then when you go and watch it at Cannes, you've got to see it on the big screen with... With my brother. <laughs> How was that? Superb. <laughs> Lovely. Did you send him to the toilet or something? No, I just sunk in my seat. <laughs> um, and you've moved to LA now, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, how's that? Um, you know, I never would have thought I'd be living in LA. Um, it's not bad. It's cool, because, I mean, like, a couple of my Texas friends are, like, trickling in and my brother might be coming out, so like, that's cool. And is Hollywood different to what you, you imagined of it, you know, before you even got into this? Um, yes and no. There's very much parts that I'm like, Ugh, of course. And then there's also this other side where I have met really, really amazing people who are in this industry and have a lot of passion and heart and um, who are really grounded, like people like Riley, you know? Mm. And so that's really cool and it's a nice surprise. Mm. Yeah. And do you worry, ever worry about the pressure of staying grounded yourself, or you, you seem very, like, you know who you are? And Yeah, like, um, not so much, because everything that's in me is just very much, like, a constant, like, grounding thing, and I have, like, an amazing group of people around me, and they're always like, oh, wow, like, you're doing such amazing things, and I'm like, thanks, and they're like, but you still ain't so, so, like, <laughs> don't get a big head, and you're like... Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So it helps, you know? I guess because you went into this being... You yeah, know, like... For you. Yeah. And who and who I am and, you know, how I've stayed myself is how... is what's got me here and the connections I've made, so why would I want to change that, you know? Stick um, to it. I just wanted to quickly mention Future. So you've done um, Hunting Lila. No. So, oh, you haven't have... done... Yeah, none of those, so those are just in the, the works. Yeah. Okay. And do you think you'll take the indie route or are you happy to go big blockbusters? Um... I mean, I think, like, I don't want to say, like, no to anything. If I did, like, a blockbuster thing, it'd probably be more of, like, a f like fun. I get to have fun with it. But who knows? Like, maybe I would connect to something. But definitely indie movies are the ones that I more register with, mm -hmm. for sure. And I like 
I like that group. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. So nice Appreciate it. it. <laughs> Have a good day.